is Charlie Sands, and I declare New York City its own country. Uh, I was born and raised here. And New York is one of a kind. Right over there, there's a guy painting behind me. Over there, there's people playing music. There's, it's New York City, no place like it. I know Edward Hopper lived here. If you go down to Washington Square North, you'll find where Hopper lived and painted some of his greatest works. Hopper's studio hasn't changed that much since he died in 1967. Inside, you'll still find his old stove and the easel he used to paint right where he left them. Outside the studio window, you can see the view Hopper had of Washington Square Park. If you walk through the park and down West 4th Street, you'll find the site of the original Whitney Museum where Hopper used to display his works. It's now Ristorante Volare. Further along in the West Village, you'll find locations that show up in his paintings. My name is Jill Jarvis. I'm the manager of Our Name is Mud, a pottery store right nearby. It's mostly a Patreon pottery store and people come in and we have pieces, ceramic pieces, and they paint them. This is a fence covered with tiles. It's a memorial to what happened on September 11th. The tiles actually were painted by people all over the country, not just here, in the immediate aftermath of September 11th. But people come still, they come from all different, all over the world. Tourists come by, people who live here in the community come by. They bring me the pieces of tiles that have broken and ask me to fix them. People, I think, feel sort of a connection and a kinship with this fence. Do you know what was here before it was a lot? I don't, actually. I just... Do you see that white tile wall behind you? Yeah. Before this was a lot, it was the Dixie Diner, immortalized in Hopper's painting, The Nighthawks. If you look closely, you'll still find the Greenwich Village that inspired Edward Hopper and so many artists.